All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lady Nika, and with uh, last night's episode of the Have and the Have Nots. I know this is late, you know. I normally I try to have it up by midday the next day, but you know I went back to work, so that's why it's a little bit late. I did get the uh, inbox on um, Instagram, and I explained to her that I, I was coming. Just give me a minute, you know I'm coming. But, um, to my Twitter person, I rarely get uh, inboxes from Twitter. Uh, at least not from, unless it's from my circle, you know. But I got a, uh, an inbox from down there to the Twitter. And, um, let me say, first of all, I'm not Ashley Miller. I understand that a lot of y'all wait on us to put our, um, reviews and whatnots up and we try to get to it in a timely manner meanwhile maintaining everyday lives so i'm not ashley miller ashley Ray can get you the video that night i'm not her that's all i can say is i'm not ashley miller if i could do what she does i would be i would do it but ashley miller is an awesome youtuber i've been watching her for years i enjoy her content but make no mistake about it, I'm not Ashley Miller. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't feel that someday I can aspire to be such as Ashley Miller or even better. But I'm not Ashley Miller. And to wait to get me to upload a video is not telling me that what other, another YouTuber did. I can't do what Ashley Miller do. I have to do what Lady Nika allows is able to do. Now, we're going to talk about the haves and the have-nots. Now... I'm going to be honest with you, I ain't got not one note. I saw it, but I don't have any notes on this. So everything I'm going to talk about is coming from the dome. And there's a possibility I might miss something because I'm, I'm trying to remember, you know, bitch old, okay? Down there half a hundred, girl, I'm 45. I almost have, I almost 50, 50, half a hundred. So forgive me if I leave anything out. Now, I don't even know how we started out. Good, this shit gonna be everywhere. Follow me. I'm gonna I'm bless you. Benny, on the phone, well, Benny is sitting there in that bar. Old boy then came in, the bartender uh, from the back way. He see uh, Uncle Malone laying on the floor. He automatically assumed that Benny did that. Benny telling him he not. He still calling the police and getting mad because the police ain't showed up to his establishment on time. I said, mm, trifling. Now, you got uh, Hannah at home cleaning dishes, and she come in there, Melissa come in there and, and let Hannah sit down as she should. You live in there free, do something. And uh, they have a conversation, and basically, Melissa says, before all of this began, I was in college. Before all of this with Jeffrey and Veronica. She said, I actually was a good person. Hannah said, you still is a good person. You just might be going through some circumstances and whatnot, but you're going to be all right. And I appreciate Hannah for that. Then you see Hannah on the phone with Derek, and basically he's saying he's smitten by her. You know, he can't stop thinking about her or whatnot. And that's a beautiful thing, and I want Hannah to be happy. I sure do. But I don't know about this man. I got, I, I got, I got my good eye on him. I don't know. It's something about Derek that just ain't going to pan out for me. And I don't know what it is. But if anything, if, if, if what we saw later on in the episode is in the indication that this man might not be all he cracked up to be, girl, stay tuned. We, it's some stuff going to go on. Candace then decided to move across the hall from the uh, hotel room she was staying in. She had not laying low because she know that Oscar looking for her for that money. And he most so looking for her now because he done went down to the bar and Rocky done told him that, you know, her room number and stuff. And told her, told him, I can't tell you why, uh, what, I can't call her down here to this hotel bar, but I can tell you I hope that bitch get what she got coming to her. So, he leave, right? Then we got Catherine and Jim having a conversation about old Wyatt. Wyatt is just head bent on he want to kill his people. Catherine don't know if she want him to go to jail or what she want to do, but she know they got to stop the beast that is him. And 
Jim is basically saying that, you know, they he got to figure out what to do with that. Then they started talking about uh, the DA situation. And, you know, at one point, I remember Catherine saying something about that uh, she wanted to kill Veronica, too. And he was like, well, you can't kill Veronica. And she was like, why? He, he said, because she saw you kill the DA. And I was like, oh, yeah, he, she did kill DA girl uh, dead to the chair uh, at the other house that Veronica burned to the ground. Oh, yeah. So, Jim basically tell her, look, I'm going to come up with a solution to all of this. You just got to give me some time. She want to keep talking. One minute she telling him to shut up. The next minute she want him to keep talking. And he just was like, you know, whatever. I'm going to handle this situation with the DA. And it's going to involve me going to the hotel with a woman. She says, it's always going to involve you and a woman in a hotel. He said, you jealous. So, at this point, she get aggravated. She don't want to talk no more. So, she runs on out. I swear I'm doing this off the dome, y'all. Veronica. Trump. Hurt. Really can't blame nobody but her damn self because she put herself here. She get on the phone. Candace, I need to see you. I see, need to see you right now. It's about that David and uh, Erica situation. And, uh... I'm going to meet you in the Artesian in one hour down to the bar. I can't meet you then. She said, girl, don't play with me and hung the phone up. She told Veronica to go to hell, but we see who went to hell because she showed, showed up down there to that bar with that drunk ass Veronica. And basically, Veronica's saying, girl, I think this woman that fell in love with David and he in love with her. But I want them to hurt. I want him to hurt. And, um... Candace say, well, girl, I'm trying to, uh, you know, I'm a, we going to make him broke. She said, see, ghetto hood rat. Taking a person money ain't going to make them unhappy. She said he ain't worth that much no way but $16 million. But, girl, what kind of money she got? <laughs> she think $16 million is but, is a little. <laughs> but anyway, so basically she tell her little Veronica, I'm going to get hold to this situation. Erica's not going to fall in love with no uh, David. And Veronica is like, I want her to leave him so he can be hurt. Because she hurt. Uh, girl say she going to do what she got to do. You you just hang tight. You up tight, girl. You need you a little bit of uh, something to make you feel good. You need a little bit of man. You need some sex in your life, Veronica. Veronica said, I already had that. I had your brother. She said, oh, tell me. Veronica's thing, thing is, I just want to numb my pain right now and inflict as much pain on others because I'm in pain. Never once has she realized that the source of her pain is herself and her devious, devious, what is it? Devious, devilish ways. That's what it is. But, uh, no, she don't care about that. Now, the whole time she's sitting there running her uh, so-called demands to, um, Candace, Candace got on a damn basketball cap because she trying to make sure she keep a low pro because she scared that uh, Oscar going to catch up with her because the boy at the bartender at the bar had told him, look, I, uh, somebody took a picture of your laptop and she got screenshots and everything. I can't call her down here, but I'm going to let you know where she is and what she did. And boom. Okay, so he's looking for her. She really don't want to be down there, but Veronica is insisting. So she down there talking to her. Did y'all see how Veronica was talking to the damn, uh, I think wasn't it Rocco or was it uh, RK? She was just getting mad because they cleaning up around that area. Now, when she when uh, Candace first came, it was a glass sitting there, right? Like someone had left it there. So I understood why he was cleaning up. But Veronica is such a nasty individual, is she not? She, um, it's clean hell. I need you over there at my house. Uh, that blind ass maid I got telling the man to get on. Then she continues to drink and screaming at him to bring her a martini. He bring her a martini, it ain't good enough. She need another one. She just trying to drown her pain. Candace said, I'm going to send one of my, uh, I'm going to send a man over to your house. She said, I'm going to send your ghetto ass friends over to my house. Mm. But then she get on the phone and tell Derek, because apparently Derek did some work around her house. At this point, that's what we thinking. Derek to come over there and fix her wash and dry. He come. She laying up there in lingerie thinking that somebody want her. And what is the deal with this hairstyle? She look a mess. Veronica has had some bad hairstyles and outfits in the past. Why they got her looking cheap and tawdry now? 
she looked just cheap and tawdry and like she desperate. But maybe that's the look he going for because that's what she is right now. Anyway, child, I don't know. All I know is that man came down there and he, she went to trying to tell him that, you know, I helped you get out of jail and I helped you get jobs with all my friends. So, you know, you had to have known at some point it was going to be some payback. And that man told her, you know what, I don't give a damn what you do to me, but what I ain't finna do is this. He said, I would have pre, I would have respected you more if you would have just tried to seduce me opposed to blackmailing me but you gonna do what you gotta do make your next move your best move because what you ain't gonna get is none of this here piece of meat right here because this guy had a name on it. he ain't say that girl but that's what he was feeling so he done left her up in there and when he walks out she called him a criminal she in her fields because he ain't want none of her old puss girl nobody want that old cougar thing and everybody know that you crazy so who want to get caught up in some mess like that i wouldn't why you at home on the couch talking, calling Jeffrey, talking about he gonna kill his damn self. Jeffrey, this is second call that night. First call was from a drunk ass Landon who upset because he done fell in love with Charles Obama Jr. and it ain't got no chance, no chance in hell with a straight man who ain't even looking at you like that. So now he drowning his sorrows in drinks and Jeffrey tried to talk to him but it don't look like he did no good because he wind up ordering some more drinks still sitting there getting white boy wasted. You got Land I mean uh Jeffrey in the bed sleep. His phone rang, it's Wyatt on the phone. Why you talking about his parents and took all his money and he wanna kill them? Jeffrey tell him, man, that ain't something you wanna do, it ain't something you gonna do. So he decides then, well, if I can't do it that way, then I need to kill myself. I need to take my sister's way out. Jeffrey telling him, No, don't do it. He talking about, well, come over here, I need to talk to you. Why you want Jeffrey to jump at his uh, beck and call. And boy, Jeffrey's always been his, his go-to dude, so he damn near about to do it. In fact, he was about to do it. Close that uh, that door right there, because uh, flies is coming in here or something, child. I see it in my damn uh, thing here. Close that door right there. Sorry about that. Um, so, he on the phone trying to whisper, because crazy next door is laying there asleep. That would be Justin. So he's Jeffrey hangs up on Wyatt because he know that's gonna make Wyatt call, come to him and talk to him and help him come with a solution for all of his rich boy uh problems, okay? So when he get off the phone, Justin let it be known he woke. What's it gonna take for you to leave him alone? Why you gotta be like that? And I'm finna go. I wanna go with you. No, you ain't going with me. Uh, you know, you think I'm lying when I told you that before I let him have you, I will kill you and I will kill him and myself too. That's that white girl, that's that white people crazy, okay? That's why I ain't never mess with that pink me, because that's the kind of shit they say to you, girl. You get with them, and they be, they don't, they don't talk about beating you up. You know, that's a black man thing. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. A black man won't have to beat your ass and, or walk away from you and cheat on you. White boy gonna kill you, the children, and his damn self. Uh-uh. Jeffrey said, you say that to me again, and we done. And you ain't gonna be able to stop me from going where I wanna go. I'm going to check on my friend. They arguing about who going and who ain't going. Jeffrey get up and tell him, uh, I'm done talking to you. I'm finna go. You ain't going with me. And let that come out your mouth again, and you're going to be on your own. Now, back over here at Veronica, I mean, at uh, David's house, y'all remember at the end of last uh, episode, Veronica had done set fire to David Carr and Erica Carr. So they sit now as the fire people is putting the damn fires out. And they talking. She telling him, I always had a dream as a little girl of living at home like this with a man like you. Veronica, I mean, uh, Erica's stupid. She got David right where she want him. If she had an ounce of sense, she would confess with her tongue right now. And by that confession, she could be set free and keep her man, but she gonna keep the lie going. And you gonna have to really be careful, mama, because you see how that fireman came up to give David his report, looked at you and said, Erica, because he was somebody that you know from your past, your past of having marks. You told him, uh, the dude had to remind you, I helped you with your uh, flat tie. I'm over here like David. Ain't that how you met him? 
just crazy, girl. Just crazy. I don't get that. I don't get honey. I don't get honey at all. I don't know what's going on with honey. But she, she just don't know that she playing a dangerous game right about now with this man. Because he gonna hate you in the end. When, if you tell him the truth now, it seems like he got enough for you. He might actually stay with you, girl. But if you keep lying, he ain't gonna stay. He gonna run us away. That means the meat, the money, everything gone, girl. You're going to be all by yourself, staying down to the Fountain Drop Hotel where Hannah and them was when the ball dropped on them. Child, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I know that R.K. wants some get back on Veronica. I mean, on uh, Candace. He ain't settled. He ain't cool with how things went. But they gonna work together, him, Rocky, and, and Gia. In fact, they got her going over the random tables talking to me and saying that they gonna uh, tell her who Vice is because she ain't that smart of a hoe, so she don't know. Now, if Jim had to call, uh, what that girl named Sarah? Remember the one that works down to the DA office? He called her over and told her, meet me down to the artesian. So while Jill sitting at the bar talking with Rocco and RK about, you know, still trying to get her some clients in and whatnot, and they going to be able to tell her who vice supposed to, who's not vice, Jim walks up, and Sarah was always already there. She was there trying to get drunk before she got to go in there and fool with Jim because that just make her ill to her stomach. But he got tea on her, so she can't afford to, you know. She can't, she can't rock the boat. He might spill all her tea out in the middle of Savannah Street. So she got to meet him down there. Jim walks up to the bar. Of course, they're not going to make no eye contact or nothing or talk to each other because this supposed to be incognito. I'm sorry, they were white. Incognito, uh, incognito then. Anyway, basically, Jim tell Jill, stop being desperate. Not tonight. I don't feel like fucking with you. Stop acting like this because this is what make a person not want to deal with you. Then he get up in the room with Sarah, and she don't really want to do what she got to do, but she got to do it. He make her take her clothes off and crawl to him and do her do. Let her lips be her guide. And when they finish, he tell her, what I want from you other than what I just got is the bullets. Without the bullets, there is no case. See, they tied those bullets from the DA shooting into the shooting of my daughter. My daughter's suicide, so I need those bullets. She's saying she can't do it. She's going to get caught. He said, that's the thing. You can do it and just don't get caught. And she ain't got no choice but to deal with that because that's what she signed up for when she started letting this man have her doing stuff that later on could come back to bite her and now she got to deal with it. So she leave disgusted. He happy as hell. And we go back over to the bar because at this point, old boy on the phone with the police again pissed off because they ain't showed up yet and they saying they on their way. He's saying, let me just move, Benny asking him, let me just move and make a phone call because I can call his nephew who's going to be able to tell you that I didn't do this. Oh, boy said, you don't know I'm alone. He said, oh, yes, I do know I'm alone. So he keeps not wanting to listen to what Benny is saying and they end up getting into a scuffle or whatnot and the gun is going off but nobody's getting shot. Benny is holding him off to where he won't be shot and the guy won't get shot, but they scrabbling to see who won't be able to get the gun, because right now, old boy holding it, but Benny seemed like he giving him a run for his money, child, this review was all over the place, but that's pretty much what happened, I had to give it to you like that, because I, I didn't write nothing down, and I don't want to play y'all, and I know I got people that come over and watch the review, and they, you know, because they don't have cable or whatnot, and I don't want to leave you hanging like that. But those were really the highlights of what happened last week. Next week, some kind of way, RK is going to be in Veronica uh, bedroom, and he going to be probably thotting and bopping with her, or possibly laid up with her, and robbing her all at the same damn time. That RK is on the, he on the rise, baby. He trying to get somewhere. So we see that next week, and then I guess we'll figure out, it rather not Ben is able to get this gun from this man, or who, if either one of them gonna get shot, or whatever. Then we gonna see Wyatt when, um, Jeffrey get there. It look like they're gonna be taking him to the damn, uh, rehabilitation place, cause he all the way off his rockers, you know? But anyway, if I left anything out that you feel is important, please put it down in the panty section. Next week, I'll be back to my 
going scene by scene and breaking it down and discussing it with you all. I apologize that this is like this. As I said, I went back to work this week and it's been a little bit difficult for me. I've been a little bit more tired trying to let my body get used to, you know, moving around and having something to do all day again. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It wasn't like my normal review, but I guarantee you I gave you everything that really happened last night. I ain't missed much or nothing. If I missed it, it wasn't that doggone important. But next week, it'll be back to the regular way. And I thank you all for watching and for supporting the channel. And I will see you guys next week for this year when I do this shit the right way. Because this is the throw together uh, version. Again, I'm sorry for it, but at least I'm here. And I'm trying to keep you up to what's going on. I want you to miss nothing too good, girl. So, that's it. That's all, y'all. Remember, the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Well, you ain't got to necessarily share this because it's all over the place. But if you want to, share it, honey. And I'll see you guys back for last week, Queen Sugar. Last week. Queen Sugar. Not the one tonight. The one tonight will be on this channel tomorrow. Along with Black and Crew Chicago. I'll do all that tomorrow. Tonight, you're going to get Queen Sugar last week. So I don't have to combine and just have y'all here so long. I'm already 21 minutes in and I'm tired of talking. I'm out. Peace.